Is AST Space Mobile already done selling? Has it fully utilized the ATM facility? In this video, we'll break down whether we think AST has fully used its ATM facility that it set up just a few days ago. First up, let's explore what an ATM is. An ATM or at the market facility is a mechanism for publicly traded companies like ASTS to raise funds by issuing new stock. Unlike other methods companies can use to raise capital, an ATM involves selling directly into the market. This means we'll see ATM sales represented in the volume we see on the daily trading charts. So how big is AST's current ATM facility? This ATM was for $0.8 billion, or to put it another way, $800 million. That's massive compared to previous ATMs AST has been using. The one it opened earlier in the year was for $500 million, meaning this October 2025 ATM is 60% bigger than the one opened in May 2025. Previous to this, AST Space Mobile opened an ATM in September 2024 for $400 million, and previous to that, its ATM was $150 million established in 2022. It's worth noting that these three previous ATMs have all been fully utilised, there are no more shares to sell. In order to fully utilise the new $800 million ATM, AST would need to sell 8.9 million shares at a price of $90 per share, or 10 million shares at a price of $80 per share, or 11.4 million at a price of $70 per share. Now, AST filed for this ATM before the market opened on the 7th of October. This means the earliest they could start selling would have been on Tuesday the 7th of October, not before. An ATM can only be utilised once it has been established. You can't sell shares before the ATM was set up. We wanted to take a very brief pause here just to say a massive thank you to our channel members. You can now join Connected Space to help support us making videos like this one. We've had several folks join us already and we're really grateful to have you all on board. A special thank you to our first Pioneer member, Shod Jupiters. Hit the join button on YouTube to see what we've got on offer and thanks again to those who've already joined us. Now, if we look at the chart, we can see on Tuesday the 7th of October, the total volume of traded shares of AST Space Mobile stock was 18.22 million. In theory, this means enough shares were traded that the ATM was fully utilised that day. In reality, it seems extremely unlikely, as we're not taking into account the fact that shares get bought and sold every day, regardless of whether or not AST is selling shares as part of an ATM. The next day there was a significant spike in volume to 43.32 million. However, this is when AST announced its definitive agreement with Verizon, so there is a very good reason why shares would have spiked that day. If we look towards the end of the week, on Thursday the 9th and Friday the 10th, just over 19 million shares were traded on those days. If we zoom out, you can see that volume has been higher over the last week or so, but that's probably significantly driven by the launch announcement that AST made on the 30th of September, as well as other key news such as the Verizon Definitive Agreement, the establishment of a new ATM, and the successful test with Bell Canada. Something interesting that we called out in a tweet on Thursday the 9th was that there was a massive spike in volume at 2.20pm Eastern Time on the trading chart. At that point, 1.04 million shares changed hands. That's equivalent to around $91 million. Now, this definitely isn't enough in a single moment to utilise the ATM, but it could well have been AST selling. One of the reasons we think that is this seemed to be triggered by the stock hitting exactly $88. It could just have been another big player in the market deciding to make a move when the stock hit a nice round number. 
but equally it could have been AST seizing the moment to sell shares and start to utilise some of that ATM. So in summary, volume has been significant over the past few days, but given the recent launch announcements, the Verizon definitive agreement, and a few other news items which we'll cover in our monthly news video, this volume increase doesn't seem out of place. We don't feel there is enough evidence to suggest that the ATM is now fully utilised. It is, after all, almost a billion dollars. And therefore, it will require selling an awful lot of shares to raise that capital. When will we know for sure? Well, whenever AST Space Mobile decides to issue us an update that the ATM has been fully utilised. If this doesn't happen before AST Space Mobile announces its Q3 results in November, you can expect Andrew Johnson to give an update on the ATM's use in the business update call. Why does it matter if AST keeps selling? What's the downside of having an ATM open at all? Well, it's a negative overhang on the stock for investors. Because the last thing you want is to buy some shares and then AST to open the taps and start selling them to drive the price down. It dissuades people from getting into a company as they know there's a negative overhang on the stock and the price could potentially go down in the near future. For AST Space Mobile, it has far more positive catalysts that outweigh the ATM. And the ATM itself is also good news for long-term investors. If you watched our video, AST's new plan, you'll know that it's deciding to spend more to execute faster. Here's a short clip from Scott Wisniewski, AST's president and chief strategy officer, literally explaining this. But the clues to AST's new plan don't stop there. While answering investor questions at AST's Q1 earnings call, AST's president, Scott Wisniewski, shared with investors. The demand signals we're receiving are to, to get the service to market as fast as possible. So what you're seeing is essentially a little bit of pull forward on launch. And so we've spent a little bit more than anticipated just to keep the timeline moving fast. As a shareholder in a company, it's really important to understand dilution as it directly affects your shares. When AST Space Mobile uses an ATM, we believe it's increasing the speed at which it can realise its future value, while slightly decreasing the potential earnings per share. To understand this more, here's a clip from our share dilution video that we released earlier in the year. So how has dilution impacted your investment? At the end of Q3 2023, you could buy a share of AST Space Mobile for around $4. 12 months on, your share has been diluted by 25%, meaning it could be worth just $3. But it isn't. In fact, it's worth $26. Why? Well, it's not just the size of your shares that counts. It's also the size of the company as a whole. Sometimes it's better to own a smaller piece of a bigger company. While dilution is not a desirable way to raise cash, it's ultimately necessary to ensure AST's financial security. This cash helped to fund critical activities, such as the launch of the first five Block 1 Bluebirds. So, will dilution continue going forwards? It's highly likely that AST Space Mobile will continue issuing new stock to raise additional funds for key business activities. That said, we expect the number of shares issued in future to be significantly lower than 70 million shares issued over the last 12 months. Insiders, i.e. the people associated with AST Space Mobile, own over half of the shares in the company as a whole. That means they have the most to lose when it comes to issuing new shares. So you can be confident that they'll only perform further dilution if it's absolutely critical to the successful growth of the company. So that is everything you need to know about AST Space Mobile's usage of its current ATM and how dilution ends up affecting you as an investor. This video was a little bit different because we wanted to get it out as fast as possible. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked it, please drop us a like. And don't forget to subscribe to Connected Space.